For more, I'm joined now by Chao Win from London. He is the founder and executive director of the Burma Human Rights Network. Thanks so much for speaking to us. Well, as our reporter just said there, I mean, the Rohingya demands are actually relatively simple. But after so many months of struggle now, nothing has been done. How do you classify the status of this conflict now? Um, right now, there are 500,000 Rohingya still remain in, in, in Burma, those who are still facing the, under the genocide and the crackdowns and facing several kind of uh, oppressions. And on the other hand, there are nearly 1 million Rohingya, uh, uh, more than a million Rohingyas living in a, in a, in a, in a very appalling conditions in, in Bangladesh as well. So I think the conditions, the totality of the condition is still remain fragile and also volatile and still the oppression is continuing and still there are lots of pressure and and restrictions of movements and medications right. and there are so many issues are uh, you know still continuing and that's the problem i mean all the international pressure all the attention from the united nations threats yes. of legal action even taking humanitarian awards away from Aung San Suu Kyi, uh it's all led to yes. little or no change so what would it ultimately take for the myanmar government to budge I mean, it is very important that international community put some measure, and which is we haven't seen enough yet. And uh, first of all, there must be enough sanction on the economic interests of the military. And these are the perpetrators, the entities and who are supporting all this kind of genocide. And we shouldn't forget that those who are uh, facing genocide in no no northern Rakhine states, these areas are become going to become a development areas and joint venture with China. So these are the real cause that committing all heinous crimes. Okay. So we must, international community must stand up against all these kind of developments, all these kind of uh, uh, things and, and put severe pressure or sanction on this. And the second thing is uh, accountability, which is very, you know, uh, until now, they are not um, effective measure being impl right. implemented yet. And another issue, I mean, we've been hearing over the course of the last few months that the status uh, of the Rohingya camps in Bangladesh is now also in question because Bangladeshis, who'd at first been actually willing to host, now say the camps are causing environmental degradation and costing Bangladeshi resources. Do you fear Bangladesh will run out of goodwill in the near future? Uh, I think uh, Bangladesh has taken a very, very important step that and, and, and is a very praiseworthy and they, are, they have been taking a very huge responsibility despite they have a lot of uh, economic difficulties and, and uh, large populations and poverty. So we recognize what, uh, what Bangladesh has been done. But it depends on international support because the reason is these more than one million people populations are living under a very under budget humanitarian aids and they have been facing so many problems and Bangladesh also giving trying to do their best so it depend on international community and donor countries how much we are generous and how much we are going to willing to do about for this uh, uh, you know genocide survivors and on the other also I would like to uh, uh, highlight here is um, they are clearly there are several conditions for the repatriations um, you know first of all the accountability of the perpetrators and the second thing is uh, they must return to their own place, not to the concentration camp. And the third thing is they, they, they are the one, they are the children of the, uh, of the Arkan land. They are the people who are from, the original people from the Rakhine state. So they uh, deserve not only citizenship, they are the ethnic of Burma. So they should ha get all their, all their uh, rights because these rights okay. have been taken away by the systematic you know, uh, all historically, all the uh, Burmese governments. Right. Chaw Wynn, unfortunately, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much for joining us from London.